Okay, how to change the greetings and the name recordings in a user's uh, voicemail. Now, this would happen if, for instance, you had a new greeting or you temporarily recorded somebody else's greeting and you wanted to replace it or change their greeting. And it's quite simple. So first thing you want to do is on the desktop, you'll see that I have the new greetings that I have here. Now, these can be as long as they meet the, the short tell requirements or they came from another mail server or it's a backup copy. That's fine because it's going to be in the right um, frequency and the right uh, compression. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to get rid of this and I'm going to go into my directory structure. Now, this is I'm doing this live on our production system. So uh, don't feel that you can't do it. Um, so I'm going to go into the shoreline data folder, and then we go down here to the folder called VMS. Okay, and once I click in the VMS folder, I'm going to go into the short tell folder, and then I have all the extensions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the extension of the person I want to change, and this will be extension 311. So I'll go into 311, and what you'll see here is if it's an active user, what they're going to have is they're going to have their greetings and their names. Now keep in mind that they recorded the name multiple times, or these are additional greetings, uh, say for on hours, off hours, out of office, that sort of stuff. They'll have different numbers. So this is greeting 01, version 01. All right, so you're just going to make sure you're changing the same one, like for like. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to actually change this to .old. And then I'm going to change this one to .old as well. Okay. Then all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and move these into there, hit refresh, and now that user, uh, all those messages will be validated. So all I have to do now is actually call that person. Okay, now that I've changed the greetings and I've got the new ones in place, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call that user and get to the voicemail and make sure the proper greeting plays. Okay, so that played fine, and therefore we've just successfully updated their voice message. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take somebody else's voicemail uh, and put their voice message in here real time so you can see that it actually works. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over and I'm going to grab another user's greeting file and drop it in the directory. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change their existing greeting. Let's call this old two. And then I'm going to change the original one, which is greeting zero one. I'm going to change the extension number to 311. Okay. Now, if I call it, it's not going to be Mike's voice. It's going to be Sean's voice. Here we go. Okay, so you can see that I just changed it and it's now uh, Sean's voice. And what I'll do now is I'll go back here and I'll delete Sean's version. And I will go back and I will change this back to Mike's dot wave. And I'll call it one last time and we'll see that Mike's voice plays. And that's it. That's how you change it.